You are now tuning into the Vibe with Your Boys podcast. Starring Kyle the Kid and Mega the Boy. Yeah, dig. Yes, sir. It's your boy Kyle the Kid and Mega the Boy. And welcome to another episode of Vibe with Your Boys podcast. How you living? How you feeling, Mega? Another day. Back at it. Made it through the week. For sure. That boy, that boy, you know, you've been struggling. You good? I'm mean, worried about you, bro. Right, man, you just talking bullshit. What you worried about? Oh, no. I just feel like saying, <laughs> let you know I care. Let you know I care, <laughs> tight shit, man. Let, tight shit. Man. If you haven't noticed already, we got a special guest with us, man. Counterpoint 2.0. Yo, what's good? What's good? What's good? <laughs> <laughs> how, you go, how, you, uh, how you feeling, my boy? How's it going? I'm thugging, man. I'm chilling. So, man, I'm happy to be here right now. Appreciate y'all for having me. Appreciate you for How's your uh, 2022 been going so far? 2022 mm-hmm. has been a blessing for me. More life. I'm here. We're here right now. For me, mm-hmm. 2022, more money, more life. Can't complain. Everything been going good. Yeah, yeah. For sure. That's what I love to hear. Yeah. Um, now, for those who don't know, Counterpoint 2.0, director. Yeah. Yeah. The director is title, not videography, right? Videographer, Which one? Director, but really director. You feel me? Director. Yeah. For sure. Um, got a lot of traction. Then did a, worked with a lot of great talents in in the music industry. Um, but today you're switching up a bit. And you're in front of the camera. Um, what made you want to, you know, show people who you are? Yeah, you know, yeah, let yeah. them know the the guy behind all the music videos that they love. Man, a lot of people have been telling me, like, show my face in front of the camera, really, like, mm-hmm. just put myself out there. So I've been behind the camera for so long, it's like, I don't know, I feel like I got to show my face. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Gain my image. Like, a lot of people like my work, but who who am I? Got gotcha. you. You feel me? And I feel like I go, I could walk in the room, no one know who I am, but mm-hmm. they know who I am. Yeah, so if you if you if you got the counterpoint hat on or they got some yeah, type of merch, they seen that hat or the merch, they're gonna be like, I seen that before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but other than that, so it just be quiet. W- was that a conscious effort that you made not to be in, like not to really show yourself, or just kind of like I'm not a in front of the camera person? It's, oh no, nah, I just I'm just not a, I'm not like in front of the camera kind of person. Mm-hmm. I feel like I never been the kind of oh take a picture of me real yeah. quick. But like, I never been that kind of person. I'm more just. Get to work. Yeah, I'm more yeah. just. I'm about to get straight to work. But mm-hmm. I know you feel me. You see, Cole Bennett. He more in front of the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's kind of one of those things to where, like, like growing yeah. your brand, the people want to. They love your work, but now they want to fall in love with you, the person. Like mm-hmm. how you operate, how your personality is, like what you into. So that's where where they're starting to come to. That's the next level of counterpoint. Next level. Next level. Uh, yeah. All right. Now let's so let's also get into you from Broward. Broward County, Florida. What part is home exactly? Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. Riverland. Riverland. Are you from me? Yeah, I don't, I don't claim nothing really. Riverland, I'll tell you. All right, and uh, where, where you went to high school at? I went to Heritage. Heritage. You know I me? Mean? I went to Heritage. Not crazy. You was, what you, what you hey, over hey, there for? Look, hey, we got Heritage Boys in here. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Heritage oh. Boys. Too. I'm surrounded today. <laughs> <laughs> the Most deaf. Um, what was the vibe like going up out there like and going to that school? Were you into like sports or anything or you was just? I was playing football mm-hmm. until my sophomore year. I was playing basketball and football. Mm-hmm. Um, it was like a big transition because I was coming from public school to private school. So like. It was a very big transition. You feel me? Public school fights every day. So I was mm-hmm. in the river middle. And then, hey, private school was more just a whole other world. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. But it was a blessing, though. Like, I got to really appreciate that. So I sucked all that in, really. You feel me? That probably what made me to what I am today, though. Mm-hmm. I really appreciate how, how I'm coming now. Especially where I'm not, especially. They added that structure for you. All the videos and everything. I probably didn't go to private school. I probably wouldn't be doing videos. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. So, so was like when you say that was it like a program that that was in the school that you took that got you through that lane, or is it like in in a way in a way like when I put it like this, bro. When I first got to private school, I did not know how to use a computer. Like, I felt like I didn't know how to use like them big desktops. I didn't mm-hmm. know how to use. I didn't know how to edit. I didn't know how to do none of that. And then like think took like a year or two. I bought my first camera, 
And then I got a computer. I, I bought my first camera, then I bought a laptop. And then the rest is history. I mean, I used to sell shoes before everything. Okay. And I was always getting money. I was selling shoes. Then what I did, I sold all my shoes. Sold all my shoes by my first camera. And then, mm, okay. bro, like. So you made a commitment early on. Yeah, it was uh, early, but how, like, how it was like. I like. I like 15, 16. Okay, right. 16. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I bought the camera, then I came across the laptop. Like, it was all in one. It was crazy. And then that's how I got into it for real. Mm-hmm. Like, I was really just having fun. I was enjoying it. And then I was playing ball. And then I was just, I somehow fell in love with the camera more. So I pushed the football to the side. And then I got, I got more onto the field and just taking pictures of, like, you feel me, all the athletes that was playing at my school. Because I'm not gonna lie, you know, a lot. We had a lot of athletes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so you so, you was cutting up people huddle clips. Yeah, like not even huddle <laughs> clips, I can't even say that. It was more mm-hmm. like you feel me. Everyone yeah. that was going to my school, everyone in the league now. So mm, I was yeah, for just, sure. I was always with them boys, and I was always just taking pictures, videos, just really more. I was working on myself, but having fun with them at the same time. Mm-hmm. So that's really like how I started for real. Once you once you picked it up and got in the camera, the computer, did you know that this is what I want to do, or you was just no. you just fell in love with it? Nope. I did not know what I didn't want. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Gotcha. Everything like it took me to probably my junior year. When I started seeing real money, my junior year going to my senior year, I shot my very first music video. YNG, Y N G C J. Feel me on my first music video I shot with shot dude. But it really and the way that came about, I was at a party mm-hmm. and I met him. And the rest is history. Like I think I like reevaluated my life at a party. No cap. Like, I was at a party, um. and I was like, bro, what am I doing? Am I just like, taking pictures, videos? What am I doing? And then I seen he was performing on stage. It was like a local show. It was at a house. like a house party, but he was performing. I was like, bro, you mind if I shoot like your first mu- or a music video with you? And then we just chopped it up from there, and then first music video. Wasn't that crazy? But that's really what started it off. So from that point on, where when did it become counterpoint? Like, is that is that something that you came up with later on, or soon after that? Counterpoint, like, I ain't gonna lie, it was, it was counterpoint off rip. Mm, okay. Off rip, it was counterpoint. By that name, what, what counterpoint what was, it? was off rip? But the reason why, the reason how, like, I got the name, and I started using it was because of my dad. I got the name from my dad. I mean, my dad was selling shirts back in the day, and then I took the name, put two point oh. Oh, so okay, he had okay, a okay. he had a he had a line called Counterpoint. Yeah, he had like clothing line called Counterpoint. Took the name. That's that's dope. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey, what? Look, 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 hold on. This, mm-hmm. this for you, my boy. See, I mean, oh. Show too. Oh shit! For sure. Me? Got you. Like, I ain't know it was two people. You feel me? I got you. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. I got you. Don't worry. If you wear hats, I don't know. If you... I I support it. I support it. I'll real, support real one. Yeah. That sure. that's real. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Um, now, when it comes to something like that, was you have like a good relationship with your, with your dad? Did, like, you did y'all did that, or was it just something that you were just inspired by? I, I give my pops some credit. I'm gonna mm-hmm. give my mom more credit though. I mean, she she the one who raised me. All right, my pops is trying to look up to him. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna say he raised me, but you know I me. Mean? But how did he feel being that like you named something like after what he was doing? I ain't gonna lie. He was a little upset. He was upset? My pops was a little upset in the first half. Mm-hmm. He was a little upset, but like, I think when he started to notice what I was really doing, he took it into consideration. Like, okay, keep it up. What do you think he was upset? Because he thought you was like playing around. Like, damn, I put my, I put my like, th- oh, thought into, yeah. all into this oh, name. No, 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 my bad. No, this is the real reason. Oh. It was more like, he was upset because I took like his design. Like, oh. I, really, I took everything, like almost what he was doing, I took it into what I was doing. And <laughs> I ended up switching it up, mm-hmm. making it more film related. Mm-hmm. So like on the hat is a donut and it's a film. It's mm-hmm. a film reel. Like some people think it's a brain, but it's really just a donut with a yeah. film reel. And then my you know my how my videos start is a munch, 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 like mm-hmm. rrr, rrr, rrr. so <laughs> you feel me? For sure. Yeah. Um so Junior, senior, that's when you did your first video. Mm-hmm. I was going through some of your stuff. A lot of your earlier stuff that, like, I I guess made you popular was filming at concerts and uh, uh, performances. 
It, was that something you planned to do, or you were just there in the moment enjoying having fun and like, let me catch this? Um, yes and no. I'm gonna tell you how like it really started. Uh, oh yeah, bro, I went to my first concert. It was like a T Grizzly show. Mm-hmm. You feel me? It was my first concert. I went to T Grizzly show, and my dad got me in. He got me in. He plugged me in, and like. I thought it was so cool. Like I'm, a, I'm able to take pictures on stage of the artists, and I'm really, I'm really into music. Like, mm-hmm. I really just like good music. So T Grizzly, I got to shoot him. I was like 16, and I was all in the pit, just taking pictures, videos, and um. Nah, I just enjoyed that. I thought that was mad cool. Mm-hmm. And being around one of my artists, I like. I thought it was dope. Mm-hmm. So that's what probably got me really into it. Right. And then it's from like from there on. Anytime I go to one of these things, I'm gonna be filming and, and catching the moment. Basically, in the beginning, mm-hmm. like when I got a chance, when I network tapped mm-hmm. in, they feel me. It wasn't easy getting these concerts though. Like I'm gonna tell you that it was not easy. Like you had to have real credentials. But I was just coming up. I was really just trying to put my foot through the door. Mm-hmm. So I could tell you like what really made me was I got into a Kodak Black show. Mm. Like, I got into this Kodak Black show. Shout out to Humble Religion, a new era. Um, bro, I pulled up to the show, and I ain't know nobody for real. Like, my people, I had someone performing, but they wasn't going to get me in. Mm-hmm. So I'm just, I just pulled up. I pulled up. I went to the back entrance with all the artists coming in. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to post up. I'm going to talk to somebody. And I started just talking to people. Like, yo, what's up? You get me in? You feel me? Just, I'm, a, I'm a kid, too. Like, yeah. I'm legit, like I'm 16, bro. I'm, so um, I, I was just talking to everybody. I'm like, yo, look, you feel me? If you need photos, if you need photos, videos, let me know. I'm trying to, I'll cover your set, blah blah blah. And then um, who I locked in with? I met New Era, and I already knew my boy Mo, Humble Religion. Mm-hmm. Um, I like Mo. You get me in, and then he's like, you gotta talk to my boy, Val. Mm-hmm. And then Val looked at um. What do you call it? Kodak Black's manager at the time. Alex, I think. Mm-hmm. And I swear, look, this is how it went down. He was like, Alex, Alex asked, how many tickets you need? He was like, four. And then he looked at me, he was like, five. <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> if it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't be showing videos for real. Because I would been dev- I, I know I would have been hurt at that time. Mm-hmm. Because at, at that point, you, you were sticking your neck out there like, damn, I don't know yeah, how like, I'm going to do it. I'm trying to do all this way to we at UN- UN. Oh. I don't even have a license. Oh, oh that was at the Wasco. Yeah, Wasco yeah, okay, probably, okay. I, it was at UM. Yeah. I'm 16. I don't have a license. Like I just mm. have a camera. That's all I had in my name, bro. I, ain't had, I barely had bread. None of that. Mm. I was just really trying to get in there. I got in there, and I swear the rest was history. Like, I pulled up. I made like a crazy recap, and some dude paid me, and my work ended up on Revolt TV. And I, that was like my first like just big like anything. And I was like, damn, I got mm. paid for that too. I didn't think I could get money out of this, like at all. Like, I didn't think there was no money in what I was doing. Mm. I was just enjoying what I do. But you know, that's really how it started. That's a, probably a big impact of what started it all. No, for sure. I mean, damn, that's a dope story. Went from like not even having a plan to no plan I to no. that becoming one of the defining moments in Counterpoint. Yeah, so, that, that made that. That was one of the ones. I also seen that one of your most viewed videos on your page, at least, is when X was performing. Mm-hmm. I think it had like over 30 million views or something like that. Hey, what was that experience like? Long live Jose, man. Long mm-hmm. live X. Um, that experience happened when he passed away. So okay. right after he passed, that video was probably doing like a couple thousand views when he passed. It went crazy. And it was almost like unreal, like. I saw it was doing a million a day. Mm. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Because people just typing in, trying to find everybody, videos. Of everybody him. going to my video. So it had me booming in high school. I felt like that guy. I'm on the road. I'm, I'm so at school. that point, you were still in high, still school. high school. I was still in high school doing, you feel me, a couple of M's. And I'm like, damn. Like, it just, it just all felt unreal. Like, and, I was, and on top of that, X was my idol. Mm-hmm. Like, X was really my idol coming from Broward. Mm-hmm. Like Kodak, and we had Kodak, and then we had X. So I was like, when I seen X, I think that's what really gave me my drive for just everything though. Mm-hmm. It's like we really had idols coming from our city, like any not anywhere else, like from our city, like from the whole world look at him, and he's yeah. from our city. I really yeah. thought 
But yeah, if you could do it, I could do it for sure. So that's true. So long live X. And I really appreciate that just being there that day. Like, I forgot how I got there. It was an XXX versus Tankhead, free Tankhead, man. Mm-hmm. I used to own, bro. I used to always just be around Tankhead. Tankhead just just bring me around. That's how I really started. You feel me? Free Tank, man. Um, I just always shoot a lot of content for Tank at that time. I really, I can't remember how I ended up. It was at a video shoot. That video though, like, it was at a video shoot for one of his videos. Mm-hmm. I believe it was called Sad. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. I believe it was Sad. It was for a music video, Sad and Moonlight. Well, yeah. And this was okay, for Sad. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I'm actually in the music video for Sad. And I was in high school, so yeah. I felt like that guy. Uh, you you, you, doing artists in high school, and these are like accomplishments. Like, you know, this videographer is just hitting the grind now that, you know, haven't gotten that taste. Were the way people treating you like other people in school treating you like you were that guy? Or or they wasn't even really understanding what was going on? It was like, well, he, he still ain't shit. I think they didn't understand what was going yeah. on. Yeah. Like, like yeah. when I look back, like I I didn't even understand what was going on. <laughs> like I was just like, I can't do this casual. Like I'm still uh-huh. me. I ain't let it get to me. Like I think it was just I thought it was cool though. You feel me? Some people holler at me like, damn, bro, you you famous for real. Nah, man. I'm go to school with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> um. So that being said, then I'm sure you've had a lot of moments since then. When did it hit? Like, damn, I'm respected in this. Like. People fought with me. People noticed my work. Like, when did when did that hit? When did that hit? I feel like that hit later on. Later on, that hit way like later down the line. Mm-hmm. Like, and when I say that, it's more when I got into the music videos, I started shooting music videos. Like that video, yeah, it went up. I feel like it went more towards the world because mm-hmm. I didn't at that time. I didn't really have like a. I didn't establish myself like a real name. Mm-hmm. Like I was more just Counterpoint 2.0. I didn't really put, release the donut or nothing. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I can't say that video made me, but it blessed me. You feel me? Long live X once again. But it was more, I went to college. I went to college in Atlanta. And then pandemic came. And then it kicked everybody off campus and I had to come back. So I moved back to Brock. And um, I think that's when everything started. That's when I started shooting videos for real. Mm-hmm. So just in 2020? Yeah, like recently, really, if anything, pandemic is what? Wow. Pandemic. Yeah, pandemic, yeah. yeah so. Pandemic. Come on. And so at that time, it was a successful time for you. Like you're getting into shooting music videos and that was really your first time you like, like really digged into it. Mm-hmm. Off the streets too. No, off the streets. I like know big artists for real. Mm-hmm. I'll just show everybody in the area. But now I'm not even going to say bro. I shot my first music video in Dade. So everything I did has always been in Dade. Never. Uh, okay. so so I'm a, I claim Dade before I claim Barrett. I'm not going to lie. No disrespect to Barrett, though. So, I mean, as far as your success, because Dade, Dade is what helped you, you know, Miami. get yeah. on and gain the traction as Opelaka. a vi- videographer, director. Uh-huh. Shout okay. out Young Savage. For sure. My boy. Young Savage, pull up. That's, and, I'm, that's the one that I feel like stamped me for real. Okay, so that was like a, a cosign that helped put you in the eyes of other people. That video just became an instant hit. Mm-hmm. It's not like instant hit, like a hood hit. It should be really viral to this day. It's up there though somewhere. Mm-hmm. And another person I've seen that you worked with, and it seemed like y'all had a good relationship with, Ooh. is um Wiz. Wiz the Wizard, man. Long live Wiz, Wiz. Man. And it's crazy. When I watch his videos, of course, I always see the, the counterpoint, mm-hmm. not knowing who was behind it. Explain to me how that formed with you guys to where like you had a lot, did a lot of stuff with him. Wait, I mean, wait, like how how I formed the relationship with him? Relationship with him and took it like oh, work with, yeah. hey, Wiz found out about me because of Young Savage. Ah, uh, you, you okay. Me? Like every bro, I'm telling you, Young Savage had that came, everything. A lot came from that. Yeah, so a lot of people was watching his videos, and I'm shout out to Krista Jewelry. I'm with Chris Azula one day. He put Wiz on the phone. He was like, yo, I've been messing with your video. And you feel me? He told me why. And I was like, bet. Because I, I always knew about Wiz. Like, I feel like Wiz is one. Like, Wiz is known, bro. Yeah, like, for sure. Before rapping. So, I always known about Wiz. I grew up. I damn near grew up with his people. So, like, they're always like, they're always telling me, like, where's the wizard? You feel me? Always. 
And then um until I finally actually got to talk to him, he started rapping. Mm-hmm. And um that's that that's what made it happen. That phone call, Chris and Julie, he made it happen and we just ended up locking in. Um from me long live with for sure. Um, we just ended up locking in from there and then man. History was made for real. When you get into like all the people that you've worked with, mm-hmm. I, I've seen you work with Dirk. I've seen you worked with just recently, uh, DK author. Like you've worked with a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Was there a moment that you stand out and be like, "Damn, I can't believe I'm shooting this person." Like I'm working with this person, or that hasn't hit yet. I right, look. So I know I got a lot of big videos out there, but I believe the one that really hit me was the Holyfield. I did a Holyfield video. It didn't go on YouTube or anything, but it went on his Instagram. Mm-hmm. And I did a Holyfield video. Evander? Yeah. Evander Holyfield, boxer. Mm-hmm. We did like a video for him. Like him just, he trying to come back and like. He was the training to, montage. Yeah, like he just trying to. Uh, what he call, I don't really know what it was called, but I just did a video for was him. Was this before the fight with Tyson? No, it wasn't with Tyson. Though. It was with somebody else. Okay. But they was preparing it for Tyson. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? saying? Like they wanted to do Tyson, but they didn't end up doing Tyson. Mm-hmm. But just doing the video, it's like, damn. The legend. Like, hey, holy field. Come on. And I thought that was legendary. Like, that was his that was more, that was more historic to me. Nah, for sure. Lot. So, you feel me? Um, when we when we was talking about you, you coming on here, I believe you saying that you was going out of town. Mm-hmm. Um, and then when you come back, we was gonna do it. Uh, is, does your work lately since twenty twenty does it take you out? Of, out about a lot like just out of the state or yeah like i said like i'll be on the road i made my name on that road for sure during the pandemic i made my name on that road um it really it started in pittsburgh pittsburgh so, uh, every every uh, it started in pittsburgh started in pittsburgh uh, such an odd place y'all wouldn't even believe that mm-hmm. started in pittsburgh i locked in with reese young we mm-hmm. made our way to De- we made our way to detroit and we locked in with Ice or Vezo and real the young OG. You feel me? And like I said, I'm a, I like music. So I just like the I just like it. And um I tapped in with them, tapped in with all of Detroit. And you know that's when Detroit was booming. Like yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. Out, everyone down here trying to sound like Detroit. Mm-hmm. So tapped in with them. And I swear the rest is history. Um I ended up locking in with Ice or Vezo. He came to Miami. We shot a music video, and then he was really messing with me, and then he just had me on the road with him, and I was just always used to that road, so I was always on the road. We hit Pittsburgh. We hit South Carolina, another place, shout out to South Carolina, the Carolina, shout out to Long Money, Long Money Bag, everybody in the Carolinas, Charleston, mm-hmm. and Columbia, he was shout out to um, Black, Black Oak. Um, so you, you at this point you just you just getting your name everywhere like everywhere. Pe- people are becoming familiar with Counterpoint. Are you? Are you? F- but when you come back home, do you feel like you're getting more love out there, or it's how, like how is it? I get more love like out of state, I believe. Okay, Cause like I said, I get more love in Dade, Broward. I barely get booked. Like I, ain't, I'm, I have not been booked in a while. Like from an artist from Broward County. Do you but shout out to Episode of Nero. Like, we mm-hmm. was doing stuff in the very beginning. Mm-hmm. Episode of Nero, I could tell you, like, that was one of the ones for real. Mm-hmm. Episode of Nero, shout out to my boy. Um, a uh, crazy story, real quick. Um, bro, I had prom. There's mm-hmm. prom day. I shot a music video on my prom day. You were dedicated to the cause. I was dedicated, bro. I really enjoy what I do, and I, mm-hmm. I was always going to maneuver, like, I'm going to do even more. Mm-hmm. So I had my prom day, and on top of that, we ended, I ended up getting like like a really big mansion mm-hmm. for my prom just to take photos. Mm-hmm. I was like, I might as well shoot a music video. So I brought Nero, the Nero over. And we made we shot a music video and the name of the song's called Bro. And I put myself wow. in the music video. So you feel me? Like okay. I ain't gonna bash a bar like that. But that was one of the ones for sure, like that had me jumping. Mm-hmm. So prom day and we shot a music video. So you know, okay. the end of prom night, so you know I went crazy. <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> That's dope. 
I want to kind of get get into like your work ethic because of course you shoot all these great productions, but as far as like the editing process, like you do all that too, or like you had to learn that. Like how was that? Uh, you know, I had to learn everything. I learned everything. I taught my I taught myself. I'm gonna tell you, I taught myself. Um, the whole editing process. And everything. Well, well, you went to YouTube University. What what happened? YouTube University. YouTube. I swear. Shout out to YouTube. <laughs> y'all, y'all don't be giving YouTube credit, but YouTube, mm-hmm. the one, sure. Mm-hmm. But YouTube. Um, I was watching hella YouTube videos. And look, I was watching so many YouTube videos on how to edit, how to put effects. Uh-huh. On one of the people who would show you how to do effects, mm-hmm. use my video. Oh, and I was shit. like, damn, <laughs> I'm him for real. Hey, that's what you like. I don't need this shit no more. Yeah, I, I, damn. I already know what I'm doing. Yeah. Like, everyone's <laughs> sending me my own video. I'm like, damn, like, I could teach y'all. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's mm-hmm. when really I know I was like, okay, I did something for real. So, yeah. Got you. Is there any music video directors that you like look at me like, damn, they work hard? They work hard. Um, Or like you fuck with they work hit tough. Um, it's a lot of people. Yeah, it's a lot. It's good. I'm gonna get. All right, look, I'm gonna get two shout outs. Mm-hmm. I'm shout out Trash Mag, mm-hmm. Trash Mag, and Trash. my boy Jay Lance and yeah. Diamond Visuals. Diamond Visuals, I believe he he from Chicago. He his music, his work is amazing. Mm-hmm. Jay Lance is one of my mentors. Okay. And Trash Mag, Hugs, Sauce, y'all mm-hmm. know Sauce, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You feel me? They were really my mentors before all this. You feel me? I'm not gonna take all the credit. From trash man took me under their wing for a little before I went to college, and um they really taught me a lot. Like it was, like if it wasn't for them, I, they're, they're a part of the counterpoint story. They they're, 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 they're part of the counterpoint. counterpoint. So you yeah. feel me? I, I respect what they got going on. I know they, they they show love to me. So you feel me? It's forever, forever love. What is your favorite place that you visit so far? My favorite place. Oh, y'all yeah, don't know about this. Erie, Erie, Pennsylvania. Erie. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> back, 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 back to Pennsylvania. Look, 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 look. look, look. <laughs> They're looking like Erie. Look, look, look. My, I'm a, my least favorite is Pittsburgh. Not hating on Pittsburgh. But Erie, Pennsylvania is two hours away. So it get lit in Erie. I ain't going to say get turned, but it's just like, damn. I didn't, I didn't know y'all got all this going on. And um, oh, Erie, PA. Shout out my boy Smooth. Um, Erie, Erie is like. Population like a hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. But they they turn they live they living like they they all the way like. So what would you compare Erie to to like like in Florida or South Florida? Like what? what would Can't compare. Ah, uh, you you no. lost me. You lost me. Kind of point. <laughs> Erie, <laughs> Erie like another they, world. They ain't popping like that, man. Erie, y'all popping like that? I'm gonna have to go take a trip. Man, you got yeah. <laughs> go take a trip. On. Like you gonna be like, damn, what's Bob, going Bob on over here? T- tap in the area, man. Nah, tap in. <laughs> shout out to area, man. <laughs> yeah, y'all know I think you're the first person that ever shouted out. Is, is it is it like the club scene? Like what is it? Like is it the food? It, like I, I know what it was. I, 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 I know what it was. Bro, it, was um, just, it was just. <laughs> I don't know. The area just it's uh, beautiful. I can tell you yeah. that. I think I like scenery the most. I ain't going to okay. say the clubs. I ain't going to say everything else. Oh, okay. Gonna... You the type of like the mountains and stuff yeah, like bro, that. Yeah, bro. I really like... I take in, take in Mother Nature, man. I like... I really like... Oh, really okay. a visionary. Okay. So, I just like... Ooh, the mountains. Beautiful. Let's shoot a video. Stuff like that. And then... I ain't like... They really living like that over there. Mm, like, got you. They living like that in every city. I done been... I done been in every hood in America. But like... They living like over there. They living like that over there. Mm-hmm. And on top of that... It's like... It's so small. Mm-hmm. You go over there, you gonna confuse. <laughs> like, okay, for sure. You feel me? Um, yeah. Are there any people that you want to work with eventually? Whether it's directors, artists that you haven't yet that like, I gotta work with these people. Um, shout out to Intro 4K. Mm-hmm. I, my really, my real first collab was Intro 4K. Mm-hmm. So you feel me? I I love to work with them boys. They do good work. Mm-hmm. Who I can give like a, a real like work with what well, I want to work out work with um I see Diamond Visuals you haven't worked with him yet I haven't worked with him but he gave me work so mm, okay, okay respect okay. to that boy like a lot of people are, oh Jerry Jerry, Jerry Productions, Productions. So I'm yeah. gonna give Jerry Productions yeah Chicago of, right no Detroit 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 okay, I okay. got I got a lot of I could tell you he he one of the ones who really gave me like I really wanted. I want to be like Jerry. 
there was a point I wanted to be like him. Mm-hmm. But I, I developed my own style. Mm-hmm. And some people look up to me, so. You know how when you say like your own style because of course you know people have their own little signature is that what it is it's creating a signature that's like just uniquely counterpoint Mm -hmm. and how do you go about that just trying different stuff seeing what works i mean you know there's never nothing new under the sun yeah so i i I always studied a lot of people a Mm -hmm. lot of a lot of i study even i watch music videos all day like i know i don't know if everyone do that but I know I sit there and watch music videos all day. But but you looking at it from a different lens, like yeah, you not I, looking at. I it don't look at videos the same. Yeah, like, yeah. Like yeah. You, everyone look at his music videos. The music video, I look at it. It's like, damn, why he did that? Oh, why is it like? How did he do that? Yeah, you be on that annoying shit. Like, yeah, what you like, mean, bro? He slid that. Like, yeah. nah, bro. I don't like. Yeah, that. I don't like <laughs> videos. Like, I really want. Mm-hmm. I want. I want to see something. Like, I want to mm-hmm. see something look good. And um, you know. So I was studying Jerry for a little minute. Okay. And Jerry, he got some beautiful work. For so, sure, for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what's your favorite type of videos to record? Like more on the run and gun, or you like actual real deal treatments? Like we break it I down. Know, so look, look, look. Run and gun videos. I swear they come out the best mm-hmm. for at the moment. Like I like concept videos, but run and gun videos been hitting right now. Mm-hmm. Like I swear I, I'm pretty. I can say I'm a running gun specialist. Okay. Yeah, you see that? Well, hey, shout out to Belly Visual. Uh, look, they, they, for me, they, they, they next up for sure. It's mm-hmm. my, my boy. Yeah. But, so, moving forward now, it's October. Two more months left basically into the year. Mm-hmm. What can people expect from Counterpoint moving forward? What they could expect. Y'all yeah. really want to expect something? Look, when I spin the bin. For me? Mm-hmm. Just know that boy. He coming. We got something special. Like, long live Wiz once again. I don't know if y'all know, they blood cousins. Yeah, 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 for so, sure. Shooting for Wiz for so long, I locked in with that boy. I seen y'all did, uh, what, praying for your killings? Nah, I love, love, love. So, I ain't do that video. Oh, okay. I ain't do that video. But I dropped it on my page. Oh, okay. That's okay. what we did. Oh, okay. Um,. I understand. Yeah, you feel me? Like it was like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but we just locked in on a recent video mm-hmm. called "Stranger Things." Okay. So you oh yeah, you talking been, about October? It's the perfect time. October. Been, we been in seen. October right now. Stranger Things is about to release on the thirty first. Mm-hmm. And I believe, like, I took it to the next level with that video. Mm-hmm. So when it drops, y'all gonna see like something different, like. That's a, that's a good you, you, video. I, I really tapped in. Yeah, because I've been wanting... I want to change how I'm in shooting. I've been doing straight running guns. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to change the style now. Mm-hmm. So I, I came up with a little concept. Mm-hmm. But it's still like a running gun, but it was a concept behind it. Mm-hmm. And we made it happen. You feel me? So um, Stranger Things, one spinning has been coming soon. 31st. Y'all stay tuned. You, you as the director videographer, I mean... I'm not sure if you're on Twitter, but you see like so many things to where like photographers, videographers, they get flacked by quote unquote allowing their client to do certain stuff. Like, do you feel like it's your job to be like all the time? Like, nah, nah, we, we not, we not going to do this or what you mean? Like, for instance, uh, your whoever's whoever you're filming may have like a crazy idea mm-hmm. and you'd be like, nah, that, that don't look right. Or it's going to look silly. Oh yeah. You're talking about like. You talking about the weird post that they would just do something out of the proportion. Like, yeah, like, I know, like you see like crazy photo shoots and stuff yeah. like that, or crazy videos, and the people people start clowning them. Like, why did the cameraman allow yeah. this? Why did the video? I allow seen this? that the other day. Mm-hmm. I seen that the other day. That that's hurtful. Like, I don't know why people be doing that. It was like one shoot. I'm trying to think of it. Was it the birthday shoot? Yeah. When she was like naked, kind of. Well, what she had? What she had on? Something crazy. Yeah. What, 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 you remember what it was? I think she had like pearls on her pussy or some shit like that. If, if we talking about the same one. Nah, he's talking about something else. <laughs> but either way, it, <laughs> either way, it, it's shit crazy though. But like, Nah, it'd be crazy though. Do, like, you, do you take the responsibility to be like, nah, we not going to do that? Know, look, or? I ain't never been in that position yet. Mm-hmm. But I have stood on business and I'll tell people like, nah, we're not doing that. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'll tell people, nah, we're not. Nah, that's that. Mm-hmm. Like, but that. I don't know why some people be allowing that. Yeah. Like, if I was the photographer, just remove my name, please. 
<laughs> yeah, I've seen some people be like, I'll do it if they pay him, but I'll probably tell them not to tag me and stuff like that. But would mm-hmm. would would that be something that you would do like, okay, I'm not really fucking with it, but I ain't gonna put no you ain't gonna see no donut in the beginning of the video and nah, I'll just I, you ain't seen the donut, no nothing. Okay. I'm yeah, I'll take the money. Yeah. Mm. I ain't nah. And on top of that, I learned not all money, good money too. For sure. Yeah. I like nah, so people probably question like, why you shoot this video? Why you shoot nah? I'm telling you not all money is good money. Like that's even for everyone coming up or in this industry, like mm-hmm. you know that. Not all money, good money. Are you to the point to where anybody could book you or it has nope. to be you said no? Mm-hmm. So even if they have the money, not anybody could book you. No. Okay. Well what's what's uh, credentials gotta look like? It's just gotta be it's gotta be like just raw. Mm-hmm. It's gotta be hard. Mm-hmm. You gotta be hard and on top of that, it's like I can't give everybody this house. Yeah, you feel me. So like, like I ain't speaking down on the one. It's just, but you you put the work in for yourself, so you've earned that right. So yeah, like, yeah. Like, you feel me? I done put in enough work. I started off shooting two hundred dollar music videos, so just we worked the way up from there. So now I'm working with record labels. Mm-hmm. So it's just a blessing. How 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 is that? I've I've heard like working with labels can be stressful. Nah, How's your experience? Working on record labels definitely stressful. <laughs> they definitely owe you some money. Like, that money don't be coming like when it's supposed to come. Nah, I need that money. Man. Mm. You, that's like that's the type of money you just don't think about it, and it's gonna come. It's gonna come, but not but when like, you want it to. Yeah, not when you want it to. So just, just I treat it like a free music video. Okay. But, Until that money comes. Yeah, but like the record labels, they be blessing you in a way like they'll set you up with a big artist. Mm-hmm. So it's like okay. That's lit. Like, this video about to be lit. Mm-hmm. But I treat it like a regular video, but I know that money not going to come in like, later on. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah, he good. Um, what up, bro? Izzy. Hey, shout out to Izzy, man. Mm-hmm. Come on. Mm-hmm. Hey, shout out to Izzy. Un- unexpected guest. Mm-hmm. And shout out to um my boy Hood, Hood Superstar man. You see the merch. Uh, the counterpoint, counterpoint collab on the wheel. That's what. The show. I mean, yeah. That's so my, that's my boy. Look, that's my boy Mick Alex. I don't want to get everybody in for it. Yeah. <laughs> that's the boy. You got 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 a team with him. <laughs> boys. Team. Boys with him. Yeah. So you express how um how much you love music. Mm. What's some people that you grew up listening to, like rapper or artists that you grew up listening to? Uh, I'm gonna tell you my favorite artist, just top two right now. Mm-hmm. Right now, yeah, like my top two, like over overall, like Nipsey and XXX Tentation. Been like, like those are I've, I've jamming them since like forever. And those um, were the favorites before they passed. But I grew up listening to Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix, mm. yeah, y'all ain't know that. Yeah, definitely. Hendrix. How, how that happened? Like, was it the old? Like my uh, dad from not being in the car. Jimmy Hendrix, come on. And he played some, something crazy. Like, oh, damn, I ain't never heard that. I really wanted to get in the, the instruments. I wanted I wanted to be like a rapper or producer in the beginning. Mm-hmm. But, like, I ain't know how to get into it. So, mm-hmm. But that was really the goal in the very beginning. When when um, when um when nobody around, you used to sometimes just like, let me see what I can do with the rapping and music. I look, you rapping in, like, I rap in elementary school, I swear. Mm-hmm. Like, in elementary school, like, mm-hmm. like, we had this thing called vocabulary rap. I don't know if y'all ever had something like that, but elementary nah, nah, school, they, they ain't had that when I was at. It was like it's like yeah. we had the vocabulary yeah. words and put it in the rap, uh-huh. and I swear like I had you were, you I, were had the hard, I had the hardest. I swear. On some little bow wow shit. Yeah, like I, <laughs> I was, I was snapping, but <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. All right. Um. Besides uh the stuff you got with with Ram, and what what else is coming? What else can people expect? Just like more more crazy stuff coming or stuff that you could say at least. You know, um, this month, mm-hmm. that was the one I was looking forward to for sure. Mm-hmm. I already dropped a good amount. I've been t- I've been tapping into it. I've been tapping into the Hispanic industry. Uh. So shout, shout out to Gummy B. She took me to Columbia. I believe that was probably my most litest video shoot. Like, okay, I did a lot of lit stuff. A lot of fun. International scene a different bag. But when I got my passport and went overseas, mm-hmm. Colombia, I believe it was like a blessing. Like, it was what I really needed in my life. Mm-hmm. And I went to Colombia with her. And it was just a movie. Like, just how the comedy be, man. For sure, man. Well, 
let the people know where they can tap in where you at, what you got going on, what they can expect from Counterpoint moving forward before we end off. For Counterpoint 2.0, you definitely catch me on YouTube, mm-hmm. Facebook, mm-hmm. Instagram, Counterpoint 2.0. Uh, everything kind of point to put on. I swear, see the hat. Too. Most had, def, man. Make sure y'all tap in, merch. man. Killing shit. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest shooter, man. Kind of point, man. Shooter, man. Come on. Appreciate dude. y'all for watching. Make sure you like, yeah. comment, and subscribe. It's Kyle the Kid, Mega the Boy, Kind of Point Two Point Zero, and we out. Yeah, did. Is there?